Hello everyone. Today I am here to teach you acid, bases and salt. Right. In our day to day life we are using many substances. Some are basic, some are acidic but we are unknown. We are not knowing that which is acidic and which is basic. Okay. But today I am going to tell you something. Like all the maximum of the sour fruits for example the lemon juices which we have the oranges right the guava all contains acid right when we talk about bases bases like whatever we are using in our day-to-day -day life like detergent powder hand wash what else yes toothpaste all are basic in nature yes according to properties acid are sour in taste acid kya hota hai khatta hota hai taste mein right but when we talk about bases b for base and b for bitter bases are bitter in taste but my dear children it is not always possible to taste and tell whether it is acid or base because it can be harmful for us it can be poisonous right so we use a substance which is known as indicator right indicator is a substance used to taste whether the given substance is acidic or the given substance is basic in nature or we can say whether the given substance is acid or it is base yes basically indicator is of two types two kinds mainly the first one is natural and the second one is synthetic now firstly I will be discussing about the natural indicator that is from nature we are getting natural from nature we are getting when we are talking about litmus paper, litmus paper, for how we are making that litmus paper, you must have heard about lichen. Lichen are actually the fungal and algal association. Lichen kya hai? Algae or fungi ka association hai, jisko hum lichen bolte hai, L-I-C-H-E-N, okay? So it from there, many dyes are extracted. Lichen se bohat sare dyes ko hum extract karte hai. Then these are adsorbed on the filter paper, right? To make the litmus paper. So, so our motto is salt. We got the litmus paper. Now how we will test for the presence of acid or base? Yes, when we are keeping that blue litmus paper in acidic solution, it, the blue litmus will, paper will change into red right but at the same time when we are keeping the red litmus paper in basic solution it the red litmus paper will turn blue yes now coming to the turmeric and my dear children it is very practical in our day-to-day -day life and what is that whenever we are eating something right which contain, contains turmeric haldi powder agar aapki mama ne use kiya hai kuch banane ko and if you are having it and unfortunately agar wo aapki white shirt pe uska stain aa jata hai to what we will do we will just rush to the uh, balcony where your washing machine is or to the bathroom where what we will do we will just apply the detergent and the water and you just remember you will be seeing that the yellow color of turmeric will turn to red yes this is the motto behind uh, turmeric indicator okay so when we are using turmeric paper and what is that turmeric paper how we will make that turmeric paper it's also very simple what we are going to do we will be making the turmeric paste okay and then we are just applying that paste on the filter paper and just we will just keep it to dry and after that we can use that strip to taste the presence of acid or base right so how it will be when we are applying that turmeric paper to acidic solution there will be no change but when we are applying it to the basic solution it will turn red the way i told you detergent detergents are basic in nature okay now coming to the china rose china rose actually it's the hibiscus flower okay so now you must be thinking about how we will use that china rose as an indicator then i am i am going to tell you we will take china rose then pour hot water over it okay and then we will filter it okay though filtrate either the solution which we are getting that liquid we will be using as an indicator right so when we are applying that to pouring it to the acidic solution it will turn dark pink right that is magenta 
but when we are pouring it to the basic solution it will turn green so this is also used as a natural indicator now coming to the red cabbage how we will do the red cabbage um, process of indication of whether it is acidic or basic okay now just listen to me hum cabbage ka do layer jo hai do uska layer we will take it and grind it along with the water in the mixer grinder then filter it okay the filtrate which we are getting that we are going to pour in the acidic solution and the basic solution if we are pouring that liquid to the acidic solution it will turn red or dark pink it depends upon the concentration of acid okay but same solution same filtrate if we are pouring it in the basic solution it will turn bluish green so how magical it is right now coming to the synthetic indicator two main synthetic indicator we have to study the first one is phenolphthalein and the second one is methyl orange now coming to phenolphthalein it is actually the white powdery substance okay when we are just putting that white powder in the acidic solution it will be colorless okay but when we are putting that white powder in the basic solution it will turn pink okay so this was about phenolphthalein now the second synthetic indicator is methyl orange and it is orange in color and when we are pouring it in acidic solution or the substance which are acid in nature then it will turn red but when we are pouring it in basic solution or we can say base so it will turn golden oblique yellow it depends upon the concentration of bases hope it is clear my dear children about indicators we have already today studied about two types of indicators the natural and the synthetic under natural indicators we have studied about the litmus paper the turmeric paper the china rose the red cabbage and under synthetic indicator we have already studied about phenolphthalein and methyl orange in my next session i am going to tell you about neutralization reaction till then bye bye take care stay safe stay connected and yes do not forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel learning science with take care my dear children